five. And we are learning more tonight about the shocking claims we first reported here last night. A local college student says she was seriously hurt in a racially charged attack at a bar in Quincy. Jasper Evans, a former star athlete at Joliet West, is a freshman at Quincy University and a guard on the school's basketball team. She says she was talking to a friend near the DJ booth at a downtown Quincy bar early Sunday morning when she was violently thrown up against a wall, placed in a chokehold, and eventually lost consciousness. Well, I didn't really know what was happening, and I started to pass out. I couldn't breathe, and my friend begged him to put me down, and he was like, no, I'm going to... He was, she told him, she was like, no, that's a girl, don't, don't do that to her. And he continued, he expressed that he didn't care and he was going to get me out of there no matter what. Quincy police, who are calling this a complex investigation, acknowledge there was an alleged altercation between Evans and the owner of the bar. But so far, no charges have been made. Evans' attorney calls the incident a hate crime and her parents are demanding answers. I'm, I'm, I'm stressed because... You put your hands on my daughter. This, this is enough. I'm sick of being sick. I'm sick and tired of us because of our color. The approach is we, we, it's, it's unreal. And what I heard on the phone when she called me was her spirit being broken. That's what I heard was her spirit being broken. All I heard was tears in her voice that she had been attacked by some man that she had never seen before. And that broke my heart. The Evans family attorney says he's heard from dozens of people who claim the bar owner is well known for violence. Siobhan Evans says something must be done. This man spit in my daughter's face. I have no clue what he has. And then to throw her out like trash, like she's nothing. That's unacceptable, and we need answers. We are not naming the man or the bar since no charges have been made as of now. Quincy Police, meantime, asking the public for help, asking anyone who saw what happened to contact them. Today, public